And uh, believe it or not, I gave my life to Christ in a nightclub of all places. <laughs> Tell and us about uh, it. I, I, you know, I, I had you know different church experiences, but I, I kind of, you know, I, I'm like been there, done that. I don't want anything to do with church, right? And I, I, um, I had been DJing at this I, at that time in my life. I was really searching because the girl that I'm, I was dating, who's now my wife. Um, and this is kind of where the, the story turns serious. She found her father's body after he had committed suicide. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then that same week, my, one of my good friends died in a car accident. And so I went to two funerals in a week. And as a non-believer, it really shook me because I realized life is fragile. And I can't pretend that I understand what's going on here because I don't. And it rattled me, and, and I knew I needed to start asking deeper questions. And, and yet I, I thought, I, I want to know who God is, but I just don't feel compatible with that whole church thing. And, and yet, you know, I, a friend had actually challenged me, Peter, you need to ask uh, God to reveal himself to you. And I thought that's the weirdest thing I've ever heard. Uh, but I'll tell you what, I, I, was, I was working in a nightclub one night and I remember looking down on, I was in, looking down on the dance floor thinking, and, and half those people were drunk and stoned out of their minds. And I remember thinking, I hate this. I, I hate life. I don't, want, I don't want to live anymore. This is not living. What am I doing? And, and all of a sudden the thought came into my head, Peter, ask God to reveal himself to you. And, and so I'm like, all right. All right, and I remember, I remember looking up, because that's, you know, you just imagine God is up there somewhere. <laughs> you know, and I, I, I literally prayed, God, if, if you exist, if you created the universe, then you should be powerful enough to show me what religion is the right religion. And I'm like, give me, a, give me a sign. I mean, lightning bolts across the sky, spelling it out, Islam, Buddhism, none of the above. You know what I'm saying? I, I was desperate. And, I, and so I prayed this super sincere, uh, sincere prayer. And I kind of snapped out of it. And I'm like, what am I doing? I'm praying. I thought, I need a cigarette. And so I put on a, I, I put on a, a mix. And I walked out of the DJ booth. And I was only about 30 steps away from the DJ booth. And a total stranger came up to me basically kind of grabbed me by the arm and, and essentially said, uh, I know this is weird, but Jesus has a plan for your life and he wants you to follow him. Freaked me out, okay? Because so, I, 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 I was scared at this point and I, 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 I literally was sweating and I, I think I kind of grabbed him and I'm like, what did you say? And he, he, he gave me this really awkward gospel presentation and, and uh, and, I, and I, the, it felt like the words just jumped out of my mouth. Tell me what I'm supposed to do. I will do like anything you tell me to. And of course, you know, I'm sure he was thinking it shouldn't be this easy, you know, like. Uh, and, uh, and I'm like, I will do it. I'm like, tell me what I'm supposed to do. And he's like, uh, we can pray. And I'm like, all right. And so he literally grabbed my hands, pulled me right down into a nearby booth. And I repeated an old school repentance prayer. And that was it. Um, I think I weirded out all my friends and family. Pete, Pete went for Jesus. That's the weirdest thing ever. And yet um, that was it. I was sold out to the Lord. And so for me, um, it, even as a pastor, it's all about people like myself who were you know, open to God, but we just didn't know how to, we just felt incompatible with church. And I, I always want to remind everybody um, and even the audience here today that there's nobody that is beyond the grace of God. And I, I think that everybody has that loved one that uh, they just, they don't know, you know, God, can you reach that, that family member? And I'll, I'll tell you, if God can come to my nightclub <laughs> and if he can turn Saul into Paul, the writer of the New Testament, uh, you, know, you know, I'll tell you what, God can redeem anyone. And I, I'm just an example of that.